Help me buy milk. Okay. Write down your name. Chicken. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. <clears throat> it's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? I'm imagining it as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought, if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blur it out too much. Ha ha ha! I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. What do you mean, what is happening? It was Switch games, Francois. This is milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. <laughs> Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. <laughs> so, once again. Hello, can I get... Wow, that's a, a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the I sound was longer than, oh, the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Wish I hadn't said anything. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? 50 steps on the pavement, 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I, I, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Here we go again. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. What do you mean, step one? What then? Or, what then? But it's already the 52nd. Or, wait. I'm going backwards, so then it's the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Can you rephrase it just a little bit? This is, I don't understand what's happening. You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're helpless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so. You'll be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. Carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Oh. Mm, excuse me, what? Oh. 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 You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 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 What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind that- Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. Gather all my will into a fist. 
Oh. 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 My interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeat it after. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. Why exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Standing by the shelves, on the rack there are bags of milk. We both stand, and the milk lies, or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Uh, I guess something like, not here? Uh, not here. Take the bag and go to the cashier register. I guess the first sentence. <laughs> yeah. As a sequel, too, which I also have. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You wanted to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk. Or, rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or, rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. <laughs> they said the thing. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside... Come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up. I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there the authors are not lazy, so don't get- what? And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy, either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <laughs> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get it at home again. What? I'm on my way. Hello. C can I g get some milk, please? You have it. Ah! Give. Put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Uh, hi, can I... Can I... Can I have it, please? No. Please? No. But, please? Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No! But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Arnar. <laughs> they hate you. You're pathetic. Pay for the milk. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to their cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. it. Took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. I walk down a familiar street past the gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. Jesus. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't, don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station's getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. W 
what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> As if I tell you. But, but I'm really interested. No, look. The ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. Okay. And yeah, ice cream's not the best, unless you want to drink more than eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. But I don't see. I feel movement under my feet. <laughs> yeah, you get it. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grades, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something as uneven as a city plane? Gently, heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I haven't closed my eyes for more concentration. H hey, watch out! Ah! I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here! I cast a reproachful glance at the swifty departing giant. Swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It, it was a truck. Oh. Really? Though, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on. Are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? The world's a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I am in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure th this is really happening? <laughs> what else could it be? Ha has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth. No! You have to accept the truth. No! You have to accept the truth. No! I have to accept the truth. No! That is, is it just gonna start over? What what if I name myself Milk? I hope you can do it better than chicken. Shut up and go already. Hey, aren't you supposed to help me? I take a deep breath of air. Look, can I? Crap, I forgot.
<laughs> loser. Don't insult me, please. You're so stupid. <laughs> but the whole point is milk. This music is very, um, Undertale. In the worst way, though. sure I I guess so uh, I don't I don't really know I just kind of switched to this game on a whim I think this is the last screen we got to last time. Um, just, you know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. Move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed, haha. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. Medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Really? I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnoses. 
Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. <laughs> How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> Uh, what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since <clears throat> uh, something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. Uh, no, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? Uh, by the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Promise. I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. And I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? Yeah, that's kind of... I thought about that answer. But... Sure. Red. Anyway. This is my dad. Uh, oh. Some of his parts, at least. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I n never would have thought... So I'm sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out of the window and died. This is my last memory. Then... A long gap. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Strange. Very strange. Today's the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course... Oh, yikes forever. Yeah, I hate buying stuff at the store. <laughs> of course... The medicine helped me. However, I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but clearly, it, it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there's some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad... Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today's a special day because I have you.
Wait, what did it say? That was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? What did I say that was rude? Is that a hole? When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Don't do that. Repeating this action every day like a ritual. Stop being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. I create a terrible dissonance in my head. Turn around and go to my apartment. That looks like a gun. Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Milk bot. Okay. I... I think we did it. I think that's the end. I got the three achievements that this game has. What a fun game. I should have done Gardic Phone instead. <laughs> it's either milk or painful mental breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. It's milk all the way down. Okay. That... That was a little more unpleasant than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. the reviews are. The Road 96 twist. Well, no, I didn't really think it was going to be funny and lighthearted, but I didn't think it was gonna make me feel bad. You know? <laughs> you could have played Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 instead. But. Okay. Okay. It doesn't feel like a good... It doesn't... I don't like stopping there. Um, but I have to work in the morning, so I guess we'll stop there. Uh, oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I have, um, where is it? Mm, milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. But that'll have to be for a different time. 
but yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. Who's online right now that we can raid out to? Misfits online. Let's raid out to Misfit. Um, but thank you all so much. Thank you again, Crystal, for getting us over our goal for the Trevor project. Uh, thank you for your raid earlier. I will be back tomorrow with some Zelda tears of the kingdom and then Friday with some persona five. And then we're trying to do Baldur's gate on Sundays. Um, and then, uh, Final fantasy 16 on Tuesday. I don't know what's going to be my Wednesday game. I'll probably put some options in the discord. It might be Alan Wake. Who knows? But until then, thank you all so much for hanging out. Please enjoy the rest of your day and or night. Please remember to be kind to one another. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.